Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the airspeed sensor from your OSD if you don't seem to have access to it. So what you can see now is my OSD screen. You can see there's an airspeed with a little X next to it. This is the airspeed sensor and it's enabled by default on OSDs, but most people can't get rid of it. And there's a reason for this. Let's jump into configurator and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go to the OSD page and take a look at how this is set up. Now, I've got this on an alternate OSD and a lot of cases this will probably be your default OSD, but this is just for my demo. So here we are with the OSD layout that you can see on screen. And if I move stuff about, you can see it's live. So I'll drag the throttle down and put that back up. You can see it's actually moved on the OSD. Now around this area, there's an airspeed element on the OSD, but you can see it's not here on the page. I can't get rid of it. I can't change it. And the reason for this is to get rid of this element, you actually need to have it enabled. The same may go for if you have stuff like crossfire elements on screen, but you don't have a crossfire system. Perhaps the flight controller was set up for something else in the past that used crossfire and those elements are there. Again, to get rid of those, which they'll be down here somewhere, you need to enable crossfire change the elements and then disable it again, go back to whatever you want to use. But let's go into the configuration page and I'll show you how to sort out the airspeed sensor. Now this is what we need to change right here, the pitot tube. You can see at the moment it's set to none. I don't have one hooked up. Now what I'd actually recommend is from like INAV 6 onwards, you could actually just set it to virtual and then leave it as is. The airspeed on the virtual sensor these days is pretty decent. So you could just enable that and leave it. But if you didn't want the airspeed at all, I'll show you what to do now once the OSD screen loads. Right, so here we are back on the OSD page and you can now see I have the airspeed sensor shown. This is because I've set it to virtual, it will now show it in the OSD setup page. And you can also see when I hover over it, the airspeed element in the general list is highlighted. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just turn this off now. And if you don't want to use the virtual airspeed sensor, you can go back to the configuration page and set the airspeed back to none. But as I mentioned, it is worth actually having. The virtual airspeed sensor has been improved in 6.0 and onwards, and it actually uses that to work out wind direction, that sort of thing, which again has also been improved quite a bit in the last few versions of INAV. So it's worth having it on. And from what I've seen in flight, it does actually give you a pretty good estimation of the airspeed. So in my opinion, it's worth having and leaving on. If you don't want it, this video shows you how to remove it. So thank you very much for watching guys, flowing models like you stole them, I'll see you on the next one, bye.